Hi, this is Andrew from Email Marketing and NYC, and today I'll show you how to explain you further what each segment means. Because I did a video a few weeks ago about the Clavio segments, and there's many questions about what does this mean or that mean. So I'll try to break it down this video and explain it further what uh, three segments are, what feature in each segment means. So let's go to list segments and create a test video, test uh, segment. So create test for YouTube. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I want to show it, it's if some is or is not suppressed. So basically, when you're creating segments in, if you go to profiles, you have there's two things, active profiles and suppressed profiles. So for this particular account, we have close to 10,000 subscribers, but we have suppressed, we are not paying for suppressed uh, profiles, and we are paying Glavio for active profiles. Also, Clavio does not send emails, even it's, if it's in your automation, Clavio does not send uh, emails to suppress profiles because those people either unsubscribe, they have soft or hard bounds, or you delete them, uh, un you suppress it them manually because they were uh, inactive. So what does it mean? So when you do your segment and you want to see all of your buyers, your all all of your active buyers you you do this kind of segment placed order at least one or all time but they are not suppressed if you if you don't have this option it will show you everybody who bought any at least once over all time either they suppress or active that's why when i do segments i always add these features you don't have to do this but i always add this feature this filter because I want to see the exact number of subscribers. If you don't do this, uh, do this thing, it will still work fine with automation, with flows, and with campaigns when you send out emails because Clive will automatically filter out those contacts. But to see the true number, I just do it for myself to see how many people active I have who placed order or open email or something else. Okay. This is one thing. Second thing, uh, what does, by the way, I'm <laughs> answering question under one of my videos. Uh, Mr. B asked me all of those questions. So we did this first properties was somebody created in the last 90 days. So he's asking about property was somebody created is at least 90 okay so is uh, at least 90 days ago okay so basically when i create cold segment when i am creating cold segment i'll show you here cold so cold subscribers so Th those are criteria open email zero times in the, in the last 45 days click the email zero times in the last uh, 45 days by the way i do you might think like how can they click if they d don't open sometimes there's glitches and clavio will not register <laughs> open but they register click so it happened a few times without uh, different clients so I, that's why i put two conditions and created uh, 45 uh, in the last 45 days and received email at least once over all time okay so th this option i am i i just want i just want to look at profiles who are in my database at least 45 days or more in other words what does that mean it means they were added to my profile either they subscribed or they purchase um, 
purchase something or they start the checkout. So profile created, as you can see at the bottom here, profile created. It, it means in our case it's from Shopify. So that person was created either in Shopify or it was subscribed to any of uh, our list via um, Clavio. So this is what that means. Uh, I mean, it's same thing. It's optional for you, but in the past Clavio didn't have this this option in the last in the last uh, oh okay it was they have only this option in the last 90 days so if you subscribe today it will consider in the last 90 days so that's why i had that condition created at least 45 days ago so I hope I explained it correctly. If not, please, please uh, ask me more questions about that. And the last part is the birthday. So birthday floor flow, it's very easy to create. You just, so let's delete this. I'll start from scratch. So that you do properties about somebody and you do op and bur birth. Okay, so for this account, I don't have any birthdays, uh, birthday fields, but basically you just type in birthday and it will pop up or you can use this code birthday and it will equals. But since the Clavio recently released new feature and Clavio date base triggers so okay so it's not searchable yet but basically what you do you click flows you create flow test create flow and before you had only segment metric sorry you had list segment and metric now you have date date property so you click on date property and so you select it created first active uh, last active and there's uh, if you have a d uh, birthdays you can click um, birthday hold on i'll show you how i have a different account where we have birthdays Okay, so for this account, I have a birthday. So if I click to lists, segments, date of birth. So click added definition. As, as you can see, date of birth, and I set up days today. But this is old way of doing um, date of birth mm, flows. The new way is click to flows, click create flow, <coughs> test birthday flow you click date properties and you select birthday and you can do one week days months or on a person birthday and so th this is I'm they they just recently introduced maybe seven five to seven days ago so this is f fairly new and uh, but it's it's very cool because it's not only about birthday you can add other triggers like uh, like anything date uh, date related you can add to this trigger and it will work automatically please let me know if you have any additional questions about um, segments or you want me to record another video about Claudio? I'll be more than happy to to do it. So this was Andrew from Email Marketing NYC. Thank you.